Welcome to our tutorial. This video will demonstrate the use of the Live Clouds feature in Savoir. This is a very useful feature that allows us to overlay a global picture of the real cloud coverage on the Earth map. Let's begin by going to the View menu up here, down to the Live Cloud submenu from which I am going to select the Static option. The time is set to the current time in our calendar, so July 2nd, 2013, and we see that Savoir has downloaded a picture of the global clouds over the complete Earth. The picture is generated every three hours by a publicly available server in the web and is obtained by combining regional images of different meteorological satellites. The images are stored systematically in a Titus server and are retrieved by Savoir automatically. In this way, we have access to a history of global cloud images which permits creating time series animations in Savoir. This picture, for example, is obtained at 6 o'clock in the morning UTC time on July 2nd, which is today, as we said before. So this is the last global picture we have. But we can also obtain a time series animation by again going back to the view menu, once more the live cloud sub option, and then animate it. Savoir will now download the latest picture up to 6 in the morning in the previous 24 hours and create an animation with a few frames that give an indication of how the clouds are moving. As we can see here. Since the cloud pictures are actually stored in a Tida server, which we've been using as of June 2011, we created an archive of cloud images, which can be used to see the cloud coverage at any moment in time in the past. Let's, for example, go back in time from the calendar here to, let's say, August of 2012. So I'm clicking keeping my mouse clicked and I'm going scrolling up to August 2012. I release, so the calendar is now switched in time as you can see, and I'm going to select the 16th and 17th of August. We then press the refresh button up here and Savoir moves back to that period in time. It is now obtaining the cloud images from August 2012 and is downloading them for us to view. As you can see, the date has been updated accordingly. And this is the situation we had. We can then switch to a 2D map projection from the projection tab here. And let's say we're going to select the Miller, Miller cylindrical. And we see how the animation is shown under such projection. Now we switch back to the 3D projection and as you can see Savoir is able to manage all of these projections without any problems. And if we tilt the map by right clicking on our mouse and pulling the earth back in this way, the images are overlaid on a certain height of the sea level so that we can still navigate underneath as well as you can see, which is interesting. Now another thing we can do is to go to the time bar here and then when zooming out with the zoom wheel on our mouse, we can go back to any time in the past. For instance, we could go back to, let's say, April. And we can decide to check out any time in April of 2012, and we would get a new picture. And if I go back to the view menu at this point, and again the live clouds submenu and decide to switch to the static option once again 
I am able to control exactly what picture I want to see when I move on the time bar without the animation. So this, for example, is a picture of April 18th, 2012. So we have the possibility to move around in time and check actual live coverage at any point in the Earth and at any point in time since June 2011, as we've said before. So that is all regarding the live clouds in Savoir. Thank you for your attention.